Dina, what's new here? We knew from national security officials that there was hacking and targeting going on. What has Microsoft found exactly? So they've claimed that they found some specific domains that they located and seized and took offline. They're now going through them to see if they can figure out what this group was trying to do. It's a group called Strontium. They have previously hacked U.S. government agencies as well as European organizations and governments, and they are linked to the Russian government. Now, the Russian government this morning, uh, according to Interfax, has come out through an unnamed diplomat and said that they are not attempting to, uh, that is not correct, that they're attempting to interfere with the upcoming congressional elections. Is Microsoft just policing this on their own, or are they doing this in concert with the government? You know, I, I'm not totally sure, and they didn't say that. They have offered, since the beginning of the issues with the 2016 election, and they have said that they would be available to police these sorts of things for the government. They have a digital crimes unit. They've had it for more than a decade, and they both make sure that people aren't stealing Microsoft software, but also police these kinds of things globally. Mm -hmm. um, there have been other instances where Microsoft has found similar things. Most recently in July, they came out and announced that a at a conference that they had found an attempt to interfere with three uh, different congressional elections. So it's a phishing scheme that attacked people through the likes of Hudson Institute, for example. So if you received an email, it, it may have looked exactly like an email that you'd received from the Hudson Institute. What more do we know about this cell? Sure. So what exactly what you're saying, what they've done is send people emails and make it look like it's a legitimate email, a legitimate request to go to their website. Um, when you go to the website, it starts to try to steal your credentials. You know, these are basically spear phishing attacks. Um, these uh, organizations are notable because they're conservative Republican organizations that have in the past been at odds with both President Trump and the Russian government. They've been critical of, uh, you know, government corruption, things like that. And one of the two of the organizations also has a number of prominent um, pr uh, Russian and President Trump critics on their board, including Senator John McCain and Mitt Romney. Are, and is it just Microsoft doing this? I mean, when we talk about some of the other tech companies, are they also sort of finding some of these uh, attacks or some of these uh, phishing behaviors? Yeah, we've had reports from, from other companies as well. Uh, Facebook has talked quite a bit about trying to police the, the fake content or mm -hmm. the content that's being posted on Facebook. At, again, looking like it's from legitimate places, mm -hmm. but actually being generated out of uh, groups that are l uh, linked to the Russian government that are trying to create divisive content and make it look like legitimate content.